figure shows a conducting disk rotating about its axis in a perpendicular magnetic field. A resistor of resistance R is connected between the center and the rim. We have to calculate the current in the resistor and its direction. Now I do have some of the data that is the radius of the disk is 5 cm or 0 0.05 meter. Omega is given as 10 radian per second. Resistance is 10 ohm and magnetic field is 0.4 tesla. Now the best way to solve this question is assuming that instead of a disk I do simply have a rod of radius of length equal to the radius of the circle that is r and it is rotated with an angular velocity omega in this direction. So we know that when a rod omega when a rod is rotating with an angular velocity omega then the emf induced in it is given by b omega l square by 2 where l is the length of the rod now apart from the question let us deduce this formula that let's suppose this is my rod of length l pivoted at this point and rotating with an omega so let us assume that there is a small length dy at a distance y from the pivot point so I can write let suppose that velocity of this small part is v in this direction so I can write small emf induced that is de is given by bvl that is b into velocity into length of that small part that is dy now magnetic field is B no doubt let's suppose inside velocity will be given by R omega so here R is Y into omega into dy so integrating both sides the value of Y varies from 0 to R I get the answer is B omega R square by 2 so I'm using this very same formula over here so I do have the EMF generated so simply Substituting all the value, I have magnetic field as 0.4 omega as 10 length that is equal to radius given by 0 0.05 whole square divided by 2. This is the EMF that is generated. Apart from that, to calculate to check the polarity of the battery, again the omega is in this direction, so velocity will be in this direction. So use the same concept V cross B that is the force acting on the charge present inside this rod so by V cross B I get that positive charges are accumulated over here negative charges are accumulated over here so clearly this point is at higher potential this is at lower potential so my battery is like this so clearly current is going in this direction fine now current is given by Ohm's law that is V by R so simply substituting the values we have resistance as 10 ohm so on solving this I get the value of current 0.5 milliampere and uh, that is the answer and if we talk about the direction then I told you that it is flowing in this direction so from the center it is leaving so it's leaving the center